What's the um, most weirdest spot you've ever caught a fish? Anal fin. Uh, wow. Yeah. As soon as I heard him, I just wanted to chase him down, rip him out of his truck. I've got longer poles too. You've always got longer poles than me. Chest yeah, I've got chest and head. Oh, you want to bring one? You want to bring the heady? In case we catch a mad one? Brad, but that cunt, I've watch out. I feel yeah. sorry for him for his job in a shitty, like, streets and shit, but fuck you dead, bro. I'm gonna take it out on everyone. Bro, not at all. And he's sitting there doing the bins as soon as I wanted to go around him. He blocks the street off the jeep. He like turns his wheel and goes like that. It's like a completely different day over here. The water's calm and the wind's almost obsolete compared to what it was before. Yeah, so you're throwing one in. I love throwing one in, don't we, Jimmy? Oh, mate, you got to throw one in. You don't uh, throw one in. What are you going to do? Exactly, man. What are you, if you're not here to throw one in, then realistically, you shouldn't be here. That noise is making me want to urinate. <laughs> the whistling or the water? That water trickling. Remember that video I sent you? With the coffee machine and the tap and then... <laughs> Everything was just making that same noise. Yeah. But I was busting too, so that video was legit. If I've still got that video, I'll uh, insert it in right here. Brothers on a boat. On a budget, on a boat. Well, boats on a budget, brothers on a boat, brothers on a budget, boats. With a bat. Bo boats with a bat and a budget, with a hardwood budget and a bat. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. So just a quick update, we're still at the same spot and uh, Still no luck. Still the one flathead in the in the in the in the uh, in the uh, in the in the in the in the in the uh, in the uh, boat. In the boat. Yeah. 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 That works. Boat works. Mate, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. True. True. It's good. It's good to be here while everyone else is at work. The last time I came out fishing with Jimmy, I actually caught uh, herpes. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. He says you can't catch the same thing twice. True. What's the um, most weirdest spot you've ever caught a fish? Anal fin. Uh, wow. Yeah, I've got the side of a fish before. I've had a brim hooked on its side. They feel reason. massive, eh, when you side it. Yeah, because you're pulling in, in awkwardly, eh? Yeah. Like creating drag like a motherfucker. Oh, fucking look at stingrays when you hook them and they fucking rip around. In the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, Boat? In the boat. You'd think there'd be something in there, eh? Like, a few, a few, there's a few litres in here. There's a couple of litres in this waterway. <laughs> How many fish per litre you reckon there are in the whole street? I don't know, that's a good point. I don't know if I'm going to make that shit out. 
mathematical efficient. Has anyone, anyone smart enough to work that shit out? Fish per liter in the Hawkesbury? Or going to be like 0.1 or something, you know, it'll be something stupid. 0.01. It might be like 5 fish per megaliter or something. Yeah, something like that. Sounds, sounds about right. But if you measure it at high tide or low tide? I mean, the water's still going to be there, so it's Good point. So much better than the fish. Right, it is. We don't have to worry about fucking volume of fish per liter. Are you right up there, mate? Yeah. Still use the mountain goat? Weird, eh? Yeah, it is weird, man. The human body is so technical. So sensitive, too, if you think about it. Yeah. And I wonder whether the smell... I think you can taste something because the smell brings back the memory of what that smell mm. tasted like. But isn't it... The smell... Smell memory is one of the strongest things in the world, isn't it? Mm. Well, I even know now, like, when I smell a banana paddle pop, it oh. takes me right back to a bridge in Nigeria that we're waiting in traffic and a guy comes around with a box on it like yeah, yeah, selling yeah, ice yeah. creams. Every time I smell a banana paddle pop, I'm right there on that bridge in Nigeria bro and I was like five years old. Let's yes. get your banana paddle pop on the way. Oh, I'm telling you, it's one of those things, eh? Smell memories are some of the craziest, most vivid memories. Well, speaking of paddle pops, what flavor is rainbow? I don't know. Got me there, bro. Apparently, because I can't have them. Lactose intolerant, right. but apparently it's caramel. Nah, is it? Apparently, rainbow pepper pops flavour is caramel. caramel. Right, I thought it'd just be a mix of bubble gum, this, that. But yeah, there you go. It is a little bit windy, and we're gonna get the parachute out and we're gonna go um, skydiving. That's true. Drift net in there. I know they're actually officially called. The what? some big waves even if you don't catch anything it's quite nice being out here anyway you know boy to hook up with. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, I mean uh, like a boy in the water to hook up with. Yeah, to tie ourselves onto. We love tying ourselves onto boys. I mean, uh, in the water. Yeah. Uh, bu buoy. Buoy. A buoy. Buoy. I mean.
see it, eh? That was just practice to see how close I needed to get. Now I know how close I need to get. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get there. Yeah. 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 Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. <laughs> Where the fuck is that? <laughs> Attempt number four. A few moments later. After all that, turns out that, that that wasn't actually hooked onto anything. We just drifted the fuck out of the boat. And we're back here now, looking for another one. Awful fifth spot for today. Still one flathead in the bucket. We actually killed the flathead, like, trying to get the hook out. So, so it was a keeper regardless, man. I want to know what this thing is. It's got solar panels on the roof. It looks like someone lives in it. It looks like a barn. Yeah. Block. It's like a barn on water. And there's this speed, old speedboat looking thing, which looks pretty hectic yeah, there. Cap, we've uh, had the pull the pin on it. It's getting very choppy and windy. We've put up with the wind all day, but the chop is just getting absolutely ridiculous at the moment. Uh, this is the choppiest I've ever seen this sort of waterways around here. Same. So we might as well just bail on it while we're safe and we're close to the, the marina. But that was it. So for the day, we ended up with a flathead that we killed to get the hook out, but it was 45 or 42 centimetres anyway, so it's legal. Um, we call a little stingray, a little snapper, and an eel. So look, all in all, it's good just to be out in the water, eh, bro? Right. Day on the water with the mates, better than the day at home doing nothing. True, true. Even better than a day at work. Jimmy normally does this by himself, so if you see me just doing nothing, don't complain. Can't, the cunt knows exactly what he's doing. I have done it in the past before, but at this occasion, we're just going to let Jimmy do it. 
And we're back. If you're not sure where this is, this is what they call Parsley Bay. Brooklyn. Or, what is it? Mooney? Uh, Brooklyn. It is Brooklyn. <laughs> the fuck's the water gone? Good day, huh, Sammy? Bro, it's a tough day, man. I'm just gonna go to the toilet quickly, bro, then we can go. No worries, bro. A few moments later. Sammy, you've been in there for ages, bro. Hope you're alright, man. Why that in the 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 uh in the uh in the uh boat? In the boat.